it still feels a little surreal, like we don't really believe that we're actually going to space. The countdown to liftoff is on. This is game day for us. After five delays, Crew 3 now ready for their launch to the International Space Station. I'm really looking forward to having a great time in space. We are now about four hours from liftoff. Soon, these four astronauts are going to strap into the Crew Dragon capsule, and we're going to bring it to you live. It's going to take them about 24 hours to get to the International Space Station. Fox 35's Alina Shirazi joins us live from Kennedy Space Center right now. And Alina, hopefully the fifth time will be a charm. Yes, Luann and John, and they were supposed to launch on Halloween weekend, but flash forward always almost two weeks later today, they are getting ready for the ride of a lifetime. And right now the skies are a little bit gray. It's a little bit sprinkling on and off here, but still the weather conditions are 80% a go. And if you take a look behind me again, we're always at the heart of the action here at Kennedy Space Center. Launch pad 39 is 39A is right there. You can see that rocket and capsule combo right behind us here. And on that there will be three three NASA astronauts on board and one European astronaut as well. All four of them will be riding that Crew Dragon capsule to the International Space Station where they will spend six months at the International Space Station doing things like spacewalks and performing research that will help us back here on Earth. NASA's acting certification manager for SpaceX, Carla Cook, says Crew 3 has passed all of their flight readiness reviews and is ready to go. We by no means, you know, we're, this isn't routine for us, and it's a new mission each time. We take that into consideration. You know, we know what to look out for. You know, keep out, um, certain an eye out for certain things now. But we're learning each and every mission, and uh, so we're excited. And the weather conditions have been updated now to 70% we just learned, but we do know that this is hopefully going to take off. And if not, tomorrow and Friday will be those backup dates. So we'll continue to update you with the latest information we have here live at Kennedy Space Center. For now, we're live at Kennedy Space Center. Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News. Alina, thank you. And this is the first time NASA has brought one crew home before sending another one up. The Crew 2 astronauts spent about 200 days in space and splashed down in the Gulf of Mexico Monday. Well, the launch has been delayed, as we said, five times at this point. A couple of those delays have been because of the weather. Right now, as you just heard Alina say, we're at 70% favorable. Fox 35 Storm Team meteorologist Brooks Garner tracking those conditions. Yeah, those conditions may be updated yet again. We've got a lot of showers in the vicinity and there are a couple of rules that they have to adhere to as far as launching through cloud decks and also areas of rain. Fox 35 storm tracker radar right now zooming in on some showers on the Cape. But remember, we're hours away. This is going to launch at 9 o'clock, 9.03, and it's only about 5.04 right now. So the hope is that all of this rain moves on before the launch and maybe we can even catch a break in the clouds. So there's still time. There's still hope. But if it was happening right now, it may be delayed thanks to the weather. But these showers right now are moving north at about eight miles per hour, which will put it right in the Banana River, right square in the middle in about 10 minutes time from now, right over launch pad 39A shortly thereafter. But again, we still have hours to go and there is hope for some better conditions. Now, as far as the future goes, future clouds and rain forecast for this specific spot at nine o'clock, there is likely going to be a couple of showers at least out over the open Atlantic, out over the range from the direction in which they launch. So these will be other areas to monitor as well not just the Cape, but the weather is just east of the Cape. And I've got your forecast update coming up. Thanks, Brooks. And our live coverage of the Crew 3 launch begins at 845 on the News Edge at 8 o'clock on Fox 35 Plus. We'll also be streaming on our website, fox35orlando.com, and on the Fox 35 News app. Now, if you can't watch it live, we'll, of course, replay it on the Fox 35 Orlando YouTube channel.